think we should try and to get a group picture. Okay. Though. It's really nice. Nice setting. Yeah. Everyone That's just crowd on the couch. <laughs> this house. That's a yeah. long ass couch. Yeah, I can, just, I can stay here. That's a lot of couch. That's, that's a yeah, whole lot of couch. Yeah. 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 Just get some right, whole bunch of couch for not Well, good morning, everybody. Morning. It's day 17 of 22. Woohoo! So we're almost there. Five more dailyos. Um, if you haven't realized yet, which you already do, no shoes allowed inside. Uh, sorry, Grips, I know that's a pain in the ass. It's a very heavy, heavy day. Um, please feel free to, you know, if you need a break, if you need to talk about something, you need to call Saritha, you know, take, you gotta make sure that happens. Um, let's be kind of serious today. Um, you know, it is just, uh, you know, it, it is, it is the part of the script. We've all read it. So, uh, yeah. Um... Walking uh, like out your bedroom, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, that's all gonna play out from one wide shot from back here. So we'll do a couple different sequence from the same angles of you popping out, popping into a room, popping out, okay. popping into a room. The camera's gonna be on the floor here, shooting this way. Okay. So we'll see your head pop in the frame, your feet, and then you're just gonna walk that way. Okay. It's pretty simple. simple. No, I did not. Uh, the camera's gonna be back here. How do you normally prepare for scenes? Um, honestly, I try to take it like one day at a time. Like I'll go over stuff like the night before, like the morning of, just because I don't think I can cram all of that in my head at once. Um, but probably for today, like yesterday, I tried to like listen to a lot of music that would like get me into the zone, kind of talk about some things that would get me into the zone. I think I'm pretty ready this morning, but we'll see. Oh. Okay, so I, I'm like looking in the mirror. The energy you have to build in the room when going into these intense scenes from the top to the bottom need to be tense. Like I wanted the actors to step into these situations and feel the intensity of the moment and help them get into character. So what we did was isolate our actors. When they were brought into hair and makeup, there was no joking around, no talking. Uh, we got them ready to go and put them into the scene and situation. And just giving the actors that time and energy and headspace to really feel those emotions of what their characters are going through in those, those moments was important to make it feel as real as physically possible. Uh, and it definitely felt that way. And I've never had to leave set to cry after watching a scene. And it was super triggering. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> still thinking about it gets me a little choked up, but uh, I think when other people see that, they're, it's gonna be very powerful. And it's gonna be hard to watch, um, but I think it's important for people to watch it. A lot of pieces in film either don't depict mental health correctly or kind of skirt around the subject and not actually talk about it, whereas in this film, it's front and center in so many ways. I won't lie and say it's not hard. And especially once you like get into it and you're in this world, um, when you have like small crews like this, uh, it, it kind of becomes a family uh, in a sense and seeing people that you've talked to every single day, like even act out through those emotions, um, it can be really, really challenging to watch and uh, but you have to remember that you have a job to do and as hard as it is they need to do my job properly uh, so there are definitely multiple moments on this set where uh, I was like full out crying and needed to take a step back because it is uh, it is a really challenging experience there's days where you just have to go on set and recognize its work and just I have to disassociate sometimes, and I think, you know, 
it's a coping mechanism and it's just a way for me to in order to get my job done because if I get too um, connected and emotional to it as I'm sure I will when I'm watching the finished piece um, but while working on it I just take my step back or not watch monitor or um, be sensitive in the space but yeah I try to protect this. I mean we're dealing with a lot of really tough subjects on set and um, as second second I'm working a lot with the cast. I've gotten really close with Connor, really close with Tia who are our main roles and um, you know they have to be like become these characters and that's definitely hard you know for me watching them go through that and trying to support them and be there for them um, having only just met them like three weeks ago um, I feel like we've gotten to know each other really well and we've grown really close which has been awesome um, but it's definitely tough um, you know, when they have to put themselves through such stressful scenes and s so many emotions in such a quick amount of time. Um, yeah, it's definitely, uh, that's definitely the hardest part is kind of just like supporting them and, and myself dealing with that, that um, those emotional scenes. I'm not sure how much the film, like shooting, the, like doing all this, like impacted my, like, my mental well-being. I don't think like in a bad way like at all, but just um, I've definitely been doing like a lot of like thinking like offset and just like moments where I'm like oh, I'm not really sure where this like anxiety is coming from or like why I'm getting like frustrated at myself or like and then just kind of like being like okay like, maybe it's just from shooting that stuff because it's it's deep and it's hard so yeah I don't know. Next question. <laughs> so fucking hard to film this shit, but it looks phenomenal. It's so good. Um, if you don't have authenticity, you ain't got yeah, film. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know? I've just been crying my eyes out all day, but uh, obviously this one's hard <laughs> too. Um, so this car right now is in the exact position I need you to pull it into. Exact. Okay. Yeah. Never speeds. Scene 100, take one, Mark. Oh, you're almost there. Right this is the next one. Right Can I listen to it? it there's no audio. Oh. Car placement's good. Jog down, looked really natural. Focus is good. I think we're good. Man, this is such a fucking heartbreaking scene, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Who wrote this shit, man? Fucking asshole for making everyone cry, <laughs> cry in the theater. Do you have a good day today? You were the most well-behaved one all day. You only barked once. Did you bark once? Was mommy around when you barked? I was pretty concerned about today just because of the how intense the content is and also uh, how many shots there are. This is such a crazy sequence with just like so many different rooms, so many different shots. And I was just really worried about getting everything we needed to make that sequence happen and make it happen the correct way. Tia did an incredible job. She was pretty nervous about stepping into this and doing this scene, the entire film, and she delivered perfectly exactly how I envisioned it. It's also, it's so hard for me to think, like, after the full day. I like, I'm, I'm like genuinely, like, just so tired. Like I've never been so stressed and tired in my entire life. Like my, I like, I feel awful every day. Like I don't feel good. I think it's just like unhealthy amount of stress that I've kind of been going through. Like, hey, on, see you man, great job today. Yeah, thank you. Seriously, oh, like sorry. this was everything I wanted it to be. I'm glad, I'm glad. So thank really you. Am. Yeah. Pleasure. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? I said we can wrap it here, yeah. You can wrap it there? <laughs> I mean... Uh, cool. Good job today, Colin. Love you. That's to me, it's that same. Uh, so when, after a sex scene, like, I'll have Robin sit here and mm -hmm. Will oh, walks yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait and go to the next one. <laughs>
there. <laughs> You're gone. Oh god. I'm standing bad. You're Ooh. gone. Show the camera. This is a uh, will in sex scene position. <laughs> Whoa, relax, let me see. Uh, show, show him the other one. Show him the other one. First, we're shooting in uh, the office, right? Oh, uh, we already did that. Oh, what? I mean, we did why, the printer. Yeah, why are you asking Chris about what we're shooting? <laughs> um, today, we are shooting uh, mostly in the bedroom and then in the living room. And then back in the bedroom and uh, uh, B-roll a little bit. It's not, it's, it should be pretty simple. Uh, there is a sex scene, but it's not really a sex scene. It's like a, this thing. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just labeled that. It doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen. So just so everybody reads that and sees sex scene, it's not a real sex scene. I just want to let yeah, you know that. No nudity. No nudity, nothing like that. Um, any qu remarks from Danny? Do you have anything? Uh, I do not. John, John? <laughs> Don't you have anything? No. Anybody have any questions, comments, concerns? Great, let's stay safe. Remember, it's better to be safe than fast. Uh, and then let's get started. Now that we've gotten a couple weeks under our belts, these very green crew members are starting to get a pretty decent hang for their job. Like, even me, like, I'm starting to, like, figure out this whole directing thing. I'm like, oh, I'm, like, kind of good at this, maybe. And, like, I think other people on the crew are starting to feel that way about themselves and just, like, becoming more confident in their roles. And uh, I think a lot of that had to do with everyone just, like, being open to, like, mistakes. Yeah, stuff are going to go wrong. Like, yeah, you're new to this. You're going to make a mistake, but we'll work on it together. And I think that a whole lot of that was going around. Like Zach Bang. Zach Bang is probably like one of my favorite human beings ever at this point. Biggest problem being a first AD, always having one of these new here and just getting blasted 24-7. Yeah, working with Danny is great. He's new to this just like I am. This is his first time directing a feature. This is my first time being a first AD on a, on a feature. And it's, uh, I think we're clicking. I think we're, we, we're becoming... I don't want to say friends. I don't like to make those, those sort of things, but uh, uh, I, you know, I don't like to make assumptions. But I just think we're cool. I think I think I think we're becoming cool with each other. Dude, we are absolutely becoming friends. Zach is just like a special person. Like he's like he's 23, stepping into this role first time, and I think he's like really developing into an amazing assistant director. He's kind of like my my voice on set. Like, I'm like, yo, Zach, tell tell him we need this, like. Zach, tell production we need this. Like, all right, Zach, we're ready to roll. Quiet the set down. Zach yells and like he does all this stuff. All right, everybody, just so we know, let's get all our stuff safe and go the hell home, please. Thank you. And, like having such a fun relationship with someone you're working so closely with just makes the whole experience that much more special and fun. There's a lot of ADs out there that uh, get stuck in this weird balance of like, getting you know there's so many parameters and so many guidelines especially when you get into union sets and everything that they just become such harsh people and i i honestly see how it happens but i think the way to remove yourself from not being harsh is to first off find your own balance i think i think the the best part of being with character in general is once you find your own character you can then spread that good character onto others and also like having individual meetings like you have the general safety meeting in the morning, you have the general you know talks with the whole entire crew, but y you need to step aside with the director, you need to step aside with the DP, you need to step aside with with different people on set to make sure that everything works out effectively and it, everybody has their own sort of trust and balance with it. You have to earn everybody's trust, and once you get that, you can start to be like you find where their pushing points are and where their balances is are and where their practices are, you know, and be like we need to push here faster, we need to push here slower, and you can just have an open, transparent conversation and less yelling, except for when they go rogue, and then you have to yell. Let's get like four or five of them Polar Seltzer Passion Fruit Blueberries on here, please. <laughs> I literally just ripped that out of Colin's hand and gave it to you. <laughs> he grabbed it, it was the last one in there, I just gave it to you and walked away. I'm sorry, man. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's good. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you have that one? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Here I come. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She's holding a lens to a drop, and everyone's like, hmm, how interesting. So, this is the 25 millimeter lens. We're switching to the wide. Um, right now, I believe there's a 32 on there. 
so yeah. Okay, can I put this? Who's that? Mine. Mine. What's your favorite focal length? What's my favorite focal length? I love a 50, you know, just right in the middle, sweet spot. Uh, That's such a safe answer. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. 18 is kind of fun. I mean, this crew is just filled with just special young people who are so talented and have so much potential. Uh, a lot of kids coming out of film school, a lot of kids like graduating college. One person in particular that stands out to me is Anna Donahue. Cold emailed me. It just so happened that like a couple hours earlier, John, our line producer, was like, hey, we need more production assistance. So we brought Anna out and she was doing such a good job on the production, like always doing what she was supposed to be doing, being proactive about things, which is rare in young people. When we made that turnover in the camera department, Anna was very interested in being a part of the camera department. So we. Uh, basically promoted her from being a production assistant to being our second AC, who is the person in charge of the clapper. Our primary role is to run the slate at the beginning of each take, which is the clapboard that you see in like every cool BTS video. Apart from that, we also help with lens changes and anything else that's going on with the camera department that the first AC or the DP needs help with. Coolest experience for me um, it's probably just getting to work with Danny and Carlo so closely. Um, I've been following Danny's YouTube for a while um, and getting to know Carlo and working with him and learning from him is just such an awesome experience that I don't think I would have been able to have on a larger set. Um, especially I'm still in college, I'm in film school, so being able to have this experience just in general has been awesome. My advice for anyone who wants to be a second AC is to get on set as soon as possible in any position that you can be in. Um, being a set PA is awesome. Being a camera PA is even better. That's how I started on this set. I started as a set PA the first week, then moved to camera PA within that first week, and then the second week I was bumped up to second AC just because of my knowledge working with the camera team. Um, and it's been an awesome experience. So yeah, just getting involved in any way possible is great. <laughs> Everyone told me to film you. Like, <laughs> I already know where it is, so the gig's up. What is it? It's the sausage challenge. Is it? Oh, dude. <laughs> so meaty. <laughs> Whoa. So This is shmeat meat. <laughs> Everyone is very nervous about the pool day because it's uh, it's 10 pages that we're trying to film. A lot of pages, a lot of dialogue, a lot of background talent. Um, and we only have the pool for one day. So it's gonna be very difficult to get everything done that day. At a different school? Yeah, but it's so quick. Yeah. Your head's in the toilet. It's like swollen right here. Let's see if we need the bodies, which I feel like we will. What are your thoughts on the whole uh, bandana? Uh, it's cool. It's like, great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Come with me. Yeah. Yo, T Dubs. Got a gift for you. Oh. I don't trust this. Welcome to the club, brother. Put her on. Put her on. <laughs> Big day. <laughs> Should I read into the color at all or? Oh, there's a cart, what? The color. Oh. Pink color. What do I do? Welcome to the team. Oh my gosh. What, like what? 
I'm surprised I didn't get like initiated. Or is that coming later? <laughs> yes, yeah, later. We are in a men's locker room, so we're good. <laughs> is there a lot of dialogue for you today? A lot of dialogue. I don't think I let anybody else speak. I say the lines and they don't even respond. I just cut them off. So I had to learn a lot of lines for it. Is today going to be a fun day, you think? Or? Yeah, this is actually one of the most. There's no, uh, it's all jokes. So it's kind of like uh, all fun. Since it's my last day, it's my farewell. And uh, really is working with everybody. It's been a lot of fun. Everyone's nice or fun to work with and everything so serious note for that but uh in other words thank you out are you uh are you nervous about today yes <laughs> it's gonna be a long night it's our it's 4 p.m hold on tristan's calling me <laughs> Spanky is so freaking good. It's like I'm laughing as like a beaver. How you doing up there? Good. Just holding down the menace arm? Yeah. Nice. Just make sure that bad boy doesn't collapse. Did you have yeah. extra fill? Yeah. Is that how you this? Um. There's a. We'll see. Fill? Fill these nuts in your throat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 Alright, you want to try it? Dude, I know that one too. <laughs> That's where it all started. Is it cold? Fuck yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not like super warm. Yeah, it's not super warm. <laughs> there it is. Get the skin tight. There it is. Uh, and then move slightly to your left. Oh, we just shot um, the scene where me and Spanky meet each other for the first time. Um, which is funny shooting this the second to last day. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we just shot that. Um, and then after this, we shoot the scene where me and Robin, we like have our first big um, like talk uh, in the pool um, after the beer mine. There's gonna be fun. There's some chunky scenes. There are like a lot of chunky scenes today in these last couple of days of shooting, but they're fun things. And action. Great, it's coming in handy for all of our like little specialty shots that take too long to get the Venice in a position. So anytime we're doing like top down shots, pop the FX3 on like a little arm that can easily hold the weight. We're about to put in this little waterproof plastic bag. Just get one shot of the kids jumping in the water, which would take a light year to get the Venice situated for the pool. So having this little guy just to swap in on specialty shots has been pretty uh, efficient and effective. The two E's. <laughs> Dude, this is a legendary FX3. This is the one that sold millions of others. <laughs> Can we roll on this right now? Oh, yep. <laughs> Carlo, Carlo, Carlo. Yeah. Action. Oh yeah! I think it's that wet. Yeah, apparently the bag leaked. The bag. Oh man, is the footage okay? Uh, I pulled the card out, but okay. I think so. Oh my gosh. Wait, Can we give it to Michael? What's up? I'm supposed to say it's not okay. It's not gonna work. It's gonna work. We're gonna find out. We're gonna be a little more anxious. <laughs> this is my camera, dude. What? <laughs> this is my actual camera. I know, dude. That's insane. <laughs> that is actually really shit. Is it like giving error messages? Yeah. It's not turning on either. And the call in, when he opened it up, there's some water that came out of the battery compartment here along with the battery. And that is never what you want to see if you are taking a, a camera out of an underwater housing. You should wait at least like 24 hours until you try to turn it back on. Yeah. Is it drying or something happening? Well, there's yeah. water inside the lens. Um, so, and there's, there was water inside. Yeah. And there was water inside the battery cage. So. Can we hit up Morgan? Tell her what, yeah. Tell her what happened. <laughs> 
Talk off. to Sony, see what they can do. I can't believe we've broken up extra. I was cracking jokes with Danny. I was like, yo, we gotta be dramatic about it because it's broken. Then he looked at me, he's like, dude, it's actually, like, this, <laughs> this is like, my actually broken. Like, this is like the full of my friends. Gotta hit the pisser. All right, ready? And action. Good, man. Everything's going great. We just wrapped Spanky. It was awesome. I mean, he's a good friend of mine from childhood, so he made me proud. It's cool to see how much he's developed as an actor. Just like since I first heard that he was going out to LA to chase the, the dream, he was always something special when we were kids. And I'm glad that he was able to harness that and make a career out of it. And he's doing an incredible job, I think. He's one of the stars of the film. Like he's the reason all the jokes work and everything. So super pumped on him. It's not the good moments. It's just tough. <laughs> this, this is the hardest one more. I'll get out to the car. Too man. Thank you. I'll take it, bro. I'll take it, bro. Hey, no pleasure, brother. Nice meeting you. Mike, my, my, my fist bump, man. <laughs> Bring it home. Colin? Hey. Bring it in here. Hell of a ride. Spanky out. <laughs> you like how fucking good you really actually are. Like you're so good, man. It's so good. I'm gonna take the contest. Hey. Hey. I haven't thought of that. They're like, hey, <laughs> what if, what if you have a problem? This should hopefully stop it from being a problem. Can you wrangle this so I can just go straight up and not think? Ah! I wonder where you went. The BTS ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that one could just like literally just go right in the water. Right over the water. Right like, in the water. Like skate it. You see what that looks like, yeah. Uh, we're kind of lighting this with aperture 1200, 600. We have a light mat. We're trying to skip it into the pool and create some texture on the wall and just be lit by the pool, essentially. Um, and right now we're right just here. we're just trying to finesse it. So we have the nice ripples on the background and it makes it look like essentially how we want it to. But um, still trying to still trying to work on that. So give me a couple minutes. What's going on with the wall of Nig behind you? Uh, trying to block out the light that will not um, not ever be turned off. Are you guys going for caustics on the water or just the blue reflection? Uh, we're trying, yeah, the reflection. I'm sorry, I literally am not even paying. talked about how this is the busiest day, 10 pages, so I was really stressed coming into today, but um, I'm feeling really optimistic now that we're actually here in film. We've already made it through half our day, so uh, once we get this through this scene, we'll, we'll be in a really good, good place. Is this dry for them? Uh, let's get a little more dry. Yours will not be. I'm gonna have you sit cross-legged, kind of how you have been. <laughs> and I'm gonna have her feet in the pool. Roll, roll those up. Roll them up. Roll them up. Light them up. He's out there in the lobby. Can we bring our security guard in? I think it looks good. Looking good? Yeah, I think so. I think we did it. Mission accomplished? Yeah, mission accomplished. Yeah, just slowing down the, the top part, just a touch. The top part. Just take your time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And action. Feel bad for my dad. And cut. Nice. Let's move to Connor's single. But as long as there's some motion in the water, we get the waves, and the light will do that cool little fancy trick that you saw. It's the coolest light trick I've done in my life so far. <laughs> Love it. Also, come on, I get to play while I'm working, so. Who else gets to swim grip? Is that, is that, is that you want to say? Uh, that's a wrap on day 20. That's a wrap on day 20, everybody! Yeah.
Let's get safe and let's go home, please. Get safe and go two man, home. Two minutes early. Woo! That was Wheels Up, buddy. That's not Raps. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, oh, Wheels yeah. Up was three. Yeah, oh. we're, uh, we're behind. <laughs> About 15 minutes I, behind. I was chilling. I thought we were... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I, know I said, I said, like, I said like three times. You guys slayed these like incredibly long scenes. Like No one messed up their lines besides <laughs> and he had <Yeah>. one. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Oh, dude, every day I'm tired. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I even had a little muscle mud at the end of the day. This video is sponsored by Muscle Mud. Get yours. If you're feeling down, go ahead and inject some of this right into your veins. You'll start feeling right better. Get more efficient, more effective. Start crushing your day. Uh, no, every day I feel like I'm losing my mind more and more. We're never ready for tomorrow. Uh, it's, it, it's, it, this entire shoot every day has been like one day at a time, one scene at a time. Especially since like we brought in Carlo, a new DP, like he wasn't on the tech scout. So every day we walk in, I have to show him exactly what I'm thinking in these new spaces that he's never been in. Tomorrow we're fortunate enough to be walking into a, the library, a space that neither of us have been in. So every day it's just like walk in like, all right, let's figure it out before everyone else gets here. <laughs> so me and Carlo are here like two hours before call every single day trying to figure out what we're going to do uh, for that day. So when everyone else shows up and starts pulling us in different directions, we have a clear plan. It's just how it's been every day, which is, it's working. <laughs> uh, I'd rather come to the day with more of a plan, but yeah. I, Last day, <laughs> let's see what happens. Like, what could go wrong? <laughs> you know, get the later, we like all die. Look at this. Look at all that. Oh, oh yeah, it's 329. One minute till the safe meeting, everybody. Um, like I said, it's the last day for a lot of you. Tristan's leaving, uh, Aiden's leaving, uh, Jamie's leaving, uh, Regina's leaving. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else that I'm forgetting to mention. Zane's leaving. Regina's leaving. There's a lot of people. Uh, really? Leaving, leaving set today. So we want to give them a round of applause and thank you. Uh, kind of a very sweet ending, but you know how it goes. <laughs> New Ended on a downer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, great. Uh, do you have anything, John? I don't know if I mixed anything. Um, unless I'm mistaken, and I hope I'm not, but Connor, this is your last day. This is yeah. Connor's last day. Connor's last day. Anything else from anybody? No, no, great, let's get back to work. Let's keep going. Just wanted to make that known. <laughs> I want to make you sad before you go back to work. Hey, I have a quick announcement. Uh, the love of my life just walked in the door. It's my fiance. We're getting married in a month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot mic so they can hear everything we're saying. Colin, that's Colin. He's nuts. <laughs> you see where, you see where it comes from. Please <laughs> today, how, I how are you guys know. feeling? We're very sad. sad. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been bummers over here. I know. Yeah. Just Sadden it up. Yeah. Last day of glam. Yeah, I was saying it, our morning glam is, is the best kind of glam. Yeah. We, we just gossip and yeah. <laughs> talk about the day. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a real bummer. Yeah. Mm. Way to make me sad first thing, yeah. Colin. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks Way a lot. Way to bring it up. <laughs> Mood killer. Yeah, right? It's cool. It's cool, yeah. Thank God fine. it's our last day. We don't have to see him again. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and how's it been working with the other crew members? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, like the best. Um, everyone has been so uh, so gracious, um, so supportive. Especially in these like long, long days where everyone. I mean, the crew is working overtime to make a million things happen. Um, I just like have to show up and say the words <laughs> and, and like try to do it well. Um, 
but there's so much uh, that has to happen like before I can do that, and the fact that everyone has done it with such grace um, in this like, short amount of time is like you couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> This is so dramatic. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love you. Hey. Oh. Crazy. Good thing I didn't wear any. <laughs> Does it still feel sort of surreal to you that it's almost... Yeah, dude. It's like... It feels like... I don't know. It's like both both ways. Like it feels like this thing's been going on for forever, but like at the same time, like it's all just a blur, and it like happened so fast. So um, yeah, such a cool experience. Just love everybody here. It's awesome. John, what's up? One of the last days. It is one of the last days. Are you relieved as a producer? Are you sad, um, or what's, what's going through your head? I'm still really stressed. It's not like. Like, I just assume it's gonna rain or something. Are you? I wanna just go home, I wanna be done. I want the movie to be made, yeah. you know? I wanna be able to see so what it becomes. you're ready to be done with, done with it? Yeah, yeah, I'm very much ready for it to be, be over. I didn't think I would be doing this this summer. I can't wait to And it's been the best experience I could have had. At rap. You're gonna go for yeah. it. I have to go the whole way, I have a dollar bet. What else, Colin? Um, Ask me another question. Yeah, no, I was trying to think. <laughs> yeah. How you doing today, man? I'm good, how are you, Andrew? I'm good. Tell us about what you've been doing. Uh, BTS for Dan. Not often are the behind the scenes guys like just as much a part of the family of the production as like the crew members. Like they themselves are their own characters in this. And like they did such an incredible job of making everyone feel comfortable and warm and like open to talking to these cameras so that I can show these people to you all. Like it takes a special type of people to get that out of them and like I could have asked for better two dudes to put this together like if you're ever looking for projects hire Colin and Liam they're two stud young guys passionate professional beautiful great to work with are you gonna have the tickle mode tomorrow I'm not gonna what tickle my balls <laughs> Tyler Tristan let's <laughs> It's been amazing, so, oh, amazing. yeah, and like the crew is so close, and I don't know, oh, so I'm sad happy. to see it in. Yeah, today's the last day of like the full team, because Monday is just really a splinter, right. splinter day, so we're wrapping out a lot of people tonight, so the tears will be streaming. And then you're gonna, we're gonna like hear your freak out uh, from the outside of the vehicle, mm, so we'll hear you inside the of the car. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it'll be like a little muffled. Oh, cool. cool yeah. Cool, cool. And that'll be the only shot of that, it'll just mm -hmm. be the outcome. Just one shot. It, reality was kicking in that like this was my last day with Connor playing Will, our main character. We had spent every single shoot day together. The guy was didn't get a break. He <laughs> worked his butt off this entire production, delivered every single time. We'd become so close all the way through. Like I couldn't have asked for a better human being to share this film with. Like, like I said, like the people that you end up seeing, like the audience sees in this movie are the people on screen, the actors, and like the main actors, in this case, Will and Robin. I couldn't feel more like grateful to have that be Connor and be Tia and like these incredible human beings that I've gotten to know so well and like representing this film better than I ever could have imagined and asked for. Saying goodbye to it was just like, you know, it's sad. All right. Great sound Ladies and gentlemen. No. It's a wrap, fuck. <laughs> the whole time, I'm, at the beginning, I was like afraid Connor was gonna like, like, think this was a great experience and ended up like, saying something along the lines of like this was one of his, the best experiences he's ever had as an actor and he felt creatively free and like to hear that like was huge like uh, like I was so unsure if I was going to be able to be a director and like work with actors and do this um, and to have someone so talented and so down to earth and so great at what he does as an actor say that about this film and this production it was like it was, I don't know, it just like made me feel like, like, I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I don't know, it was cool. 
I literally couldn't ever have done this without you. Like, I don't know how in the world this would have worked. <laughs> like, if I casted anyone else, like, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I like never want to make a movie without you ever again. <laughs> Please like, cast me in all your friends. <laughs> You're so fucking good. It's such like a life, like game changer for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like... Really my biggest fear is that, like, you were, like, so experienced and you're gonna, like, <laughs> hate working with me. It's like, no. my first time making a movie. No, was, <laughs> I was just, like, so fucking nervous. No, I was, like, afraid that I was gonna, like, say the wrong shit. No, <laughs> no you were, I, like, I, like, yeah, I couldn't have, I couldn't have asked for a better experience. I mean, this is, I mean, this is, like, changed my life. <laughs> yeah. Shots. Everybody's wrapping out. Jeez, Last night with a lot of everyone people. Looks, everyone looks so delusional. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Awesome. 3, p we, 3 a.m. Has the audience seen what time it is? Yeah, it's 2.52 in the audience. iPhone <laughs> time thing? The movie is just kind of big. Uh, I think I'm set. I think I'm set. I'll check it out. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Welcome out, you guys. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, Anything for the yeah, Delco fucking day. That's right. Yeah. Go birds, baby. So that's the last official day. <laughs> um, it's kind of a weird rap situation because we have another day on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> last day. I'm shaking Colin's head right now. <laughs> it's your last day getting mic'd up, man. Yeah. We made it. Freaking last day. I feel like we've wrapped three days now. This is the official last day. Got a skeleton crew here. Kind of wish everyone was here, but can't win them all. It's cool because where we're shooting right now is where I walk my dog every morning and have been walking her every morning pre taking out Maui. I lived here for three years with Sansa. Then after we moved back from Maui, we moved right back in the area and I still take her every day. So probably walked this trail a thousand times. Have seen this spot, let Sansa swimming it all the time and I always thought this would be a great place to shoot a movie scene and here we are. Good morning. What day is it? Day 22. The last day. The last day. Wow. Emotions. Thanks for joining us. I would say that, and this is in complete honesty, this is one of the best, if not the best, group of crew that I've worked with. Everybody on set is really cohesive and um, almost one-minded in a lot of ways. Um, we, we have the same sense of humor, uh, the same sense of professionality and uh, uniformity. So it's been really nice uh, atmosphere around set to be able to work professionally but also have fun at the same time. I mean, taste it okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, you already drank? <laughs> Limited edition. John, where was that muscle mode? Sitting in my in my van for a few days. Tristan, thank you so much for muscle mud and all that it has been. Show the sticker a little bit better. The sticker is gone. Okay, well it makes you really know where it is put in post. Tristan. But this is for you, buddy. You will always be here. Pour one out for the boys. Well we're out here, I'm Director Dan. <laughs> Director Dan. <laughs> Director Dan. Whenever I was like uh, stunt coordinating, I was like calling stunt coordinator Dan. <laughs> In intimacy coach Dan. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, We might get it from. We might lose it if we go low. Paul? Paul, eye line more left. And action. Why well, do you have to get in the water? Uh, for safety reasons, we first have to make sure there's no like, you know, jagged things or anything like that, or, you know, stuff like that, so our talent can be safe inside. Honestly, it's like, it's shots like these that make me love what I do. mining out here. We gotta start going that way. Yep. You'll break in your voice, like the, the yell just like breaks, is what you're saying? Yeah, because I, I, I think it works well, well and very it. comfortable and very natural for the okay. last one to say, look at me, it's like I'm screaming. Yeah. Hey, yeah. okay, cut. Going swimming in the river. Hopefully there's no snakes. Not I like actually like snakes, but I don't know if I'd like them in the water. This is it, man. 
This is it. This is what they call the, uh, right? This is what they call the martini shot? That, like, middle section? Yes. Try that. Yes. That's it. That's it. Alright. Just gotta make sure there's no boulders. This is gonna trip over. Speed. Scene Apple 73, take two. Mark. Let's kill all the walkies. Roll, roll, roll. Action. Now hold, motorcycle. And action. And cut. Cut it. Give her cuts. You come up to you. Ah. Real quick, everyone, come on. Seriously. Just kidding, it's not serious. Thank you, everyone, for this. It's been the greatest part of my filming career this far. Can't thank you all enough for being here. Working with other crew members, like that has to be the best part of filmmaking because these days are long, they're extremely difficult. It doesn't take much for things to feel really bad and start to go wrong, but it's the people that you know come day in and day out and have a positive attitude that allow films to be made. To make an indie feature, you gotta have a lot of determined people around you to make it happen and there's a lot of determined people on this set and it's a refreshing thing to be around to have people work very hard um, in order to be proud of their work because ultimately you know we're making a film yes but also at the end of the day we all want to feel good about what we're doing and I think everyone individually is doing the best that they can. I don't lo I don't watch a lot of the movies I work on I'll be completely honest with you. Um, I think I will watch this just because it is important. Uh, it might be hard for me to stomach at times, um, uh, just because of the intensity of the content. But like I said, it's something that should be made and should be watched. If it can help literally one person, then I think we've done a good job. I hope you enjoy the story. Um, uh, I hope you appreciate the, you know, some of the camera work. Uh, I hope you appreciate the lighting, the sound, the art department, hair and makeup, costume. Everyone's doing a kick-ass job at what they're supposed to be doing. This isn't like a, 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 a YouTube movie as what we have seen in the past. This is, this is a real movie. This is being done right. It was very, it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. It's like... <laughs> That's a dumb question. Um, no, it's not. I am excited. I think it's going to be cool because like, yeah, like everybody says, you get like lost in your own little world and your own small little piece in the project. And, and even like what we're doing now, this is only such a small fraction of what it is anyway. There's a whole post-production thing that's going to happen with the editing and the sound. And so that's going to be cool to see that all, all that come together. The amount of people that came together to make this happen just because they trusted me is insane and probably shouldn't have happened, but it did. And I'm forever grateful for the opportunity and the experience. And I can't wait to share everything with everyone involved. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I love you. Can't wait to just like get this made for everyone to see it. And just thank you. That's a wrap, so thank you everyone. Woo! Great. Yeah, buddy. We going in? It's a good question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, 
I want to say I want to take a nice long break and vacation, but that's certainly not happening. Um, you're seeing these behind the scenes episodes because right after we wrap, I start working on them. Uh, we've been behind, uh, been behind every day, but uh, I don't know how we did it, but somehow we finished the interview. <laughs> Somehow, some way. Thanks to Sandra. Hi, sweetheart. Oh. Are you always hot, Mike? Right? Yeah. No way. Always. I think so much bad. Yeah, shit. but but unless you see them recording. Like it's... Bad <laughs> Dude, I can't even imagine what they've captured me saying. Can you fix the eye ladies? Oh, I know. Can you fix the eye ladies? Eye ladies? Eye ladies nuts on your face? Oh, <laughs> It looks like we're vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome to welcome our to YouTube channel. What are we shooting next, Carla? Um, I don't know. You got the script? <laughs> Pick it out. Pick it out. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll get some flack for this, but I, I'm watching a lot of the old Keeping Up with the Kardashians <laughs> episodes because it's truly mindless. Danny? Mm, we have a gun to show me. Did you get Bofo? What? That's a Bofo. Both of these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. Got him. Did he? Yeah, That's the coming. third one today, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm too late. Rob, there's Ligma on that. Ligma balls. <laughs> <laughs> Raise it up and stick up a little bit. Good. What would you say you've learned most from your experience working with Danny Gewurz? Don't get on his bad side. <laughs> He'll ream you out. Yep. Don't tell him I said that though. Yeah, no, definitely no. Um, All right. I right, no more questions. No more questions. Got to prepare for my next scene. Are you filming? Do you need my mic? <laughs>